This is another recent got buy. I got this at the same 7-Eleven. Had been there for a while, and I figured, you know, might as well get that. Uh, the Legend of Tarzan, a new threat await. Actually, I think that's just a title or a tagline. The 3D in this movie is okay. This movie isn't really remarkable in any way. Uh, there's a lot of leaps in time, uh, or there's a lot of things that they probably should have shown in this movie that they didn't. And I know a lot of people say this is great. It, it's okay. It's decent. You're not really going to miss out on much if you don't see this movie. 3D's alright. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson's a lot of fun in this movie, though. I mean, he always is. It's really hard to make Samuel L. Jackson look bad. Uh, yeah, there's really not much to say about this. It's, it's kind of forgettable. Uh, this one, speaking of forgettable, I saw this movie one time and I never watched it again and I can't even really remember what happened in it. Uh, but we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Michael Bay version. Never really got into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I picked this up on a whim. It might have been really cheap. And I literally don't remember anything. I don't remember if the 3D was good. Michael Bay usually does good 3D films, so I assume it is. But yeah, I, I, I literally don't remember it. I should probably watch this again at some point but I mean if you like Michael Bay action movies it probably is okay uh, this next one is another movie I believe was filmed in 3D and that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre I will say that the actual video quality is like unparalleled it looks so good every time I watch it I'm like damn like I don't know what cameras they use but it's like very crystal clear and sharp like this is a fantastic looking movie 3D is pretty okay, nothing too exciting. They try to do some pop-out moments that don't really work. Um, if you're a fan of the Texas Chainsaw movies, then sure, go ahead and take a look at this. They do something kind of interesting. It's not a complete train train wreck, but I mean, it, it's a slasher movie reboot thing made in the early 2010s. I don't know. If you, if you go into that knowing that, this knowing that, then you're going to know what to expect. Now, this is a really good post-conversion, and I've already talked about this. This is the movie that inspired Steven Spielberg to do his post-conversion of Jurassic Park, and that is Titanic Limited 3D Edition, even though you can find it everywhere. Uh, this actually, I forgot to mention this, but the Hobbit films and this comes on two discs, uh, because the movie is that long, and also 3D video takes up twice as much room. And I wouldn't know that, because I make 3D videos. <laughs> But Titanic, man, this is a... Who would have guessed that this movie would make for a good 3D feature? I mean, obviously the sinking of the ship, but the 3D post-conversion job done here is unparalleled. He got it as close as he possibly could. I mean, they went through with a fine-tooth comb, and then they, they shaded that down to make it even finer. He really understood how to make the 3D work. I mean, if you didn't know this was post-converted, you would have sworn this was shot in 3D. It is so good. The opening shots underwater, the ship sinking, everything. This is a good 3D movie. Even though you really wouldn't think something like this would lend itself. But it, it it's great. I mean, it's good. It's Titanic. What do you expect? Uh, this is definitely one worth having. Not top 10 for me, but definitely one worth having. This is another one I picked up on a win. I'm glad I did. I've never seen it before. And I, might, I thought, you know, this is a hallmark of the 80s, but... Bada bing, bada boom, Tom Cruise back at it again. He can't escape 3D movies. I really want to get, uh, well, I don't think it's going to be possible, but Mission Impossible 6 in 3D. I saw that in the theaters in 3D. It was really good. But anyway, we're talking about uh, Top Gun. This movie obviously post-converted to 3D. Post-conversion job's pretty damn good. I haven't watched this movie in about a year or so, but I remember the flying scenes where the jets look really cool. They're flying out of the screen, and... If you like Top Gun, the 3D does actually add something to this movie. It's, it's really nice. Really, really freaking nice. It's probably movies like this that got uh, Tom Cruise really inspired to do all of his own stunts. This is another one that was a re-release that the 3D's kind of okay on. Uh, but not as deep as it could have been. And this was re-released when the third movie came out. Talking about Toy Story. I saw this at Best Buy and I was like, holy crap, I gotta pick this up. Or it might have been somewhere else. But anyway, I really like this movie. Toy Story is a really huge inspiration to me. And this first movie especially. 3D is okay, but I'm glad I got this in 3D just for completionist's sake. 
I want to get Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3 in 3D at some point. I do realize that there is a 3 uh, disc collection of these movies in 3D, but it's like $70, $80. It's really expensive. It would be cheaper at this point just to buy the, the other two on their own. But yeah, Toy Story. I mean, it's a good movie. If you want to see Toy Story in 3D, sure, pick it up. You're not really missing much without seeing it in you know, seeing it in 2D, but, you know, I, I'm, I like 3D, and I like that movie, and I wanted to see it. Now, this is a movie that gets me hard right out of the gate. I freaking love Tron, dude. I love the original Tron. I think it's fantastic. I respect it a lot on a filmmaking level, on a, on a technical level. They really were, like, splitting hairs with that the original movie. I could go on and on about the original movie. But this movie itself is really cool. There's this really nice title card at the beginning talking about how the aspect ratio is going to change and how the movie is, you know, in 2D and in 3D. And that's how it was shot and meant to be seen. This movie was shot in 3D, by the way. And right out of the gate with the Disney logo and the lasers are coming out of the screen. It, it's so cool. This movie is really cool in 3D if you're a fan of Tron. Actually, this movie is just a great movie in general. It has a lot of philosophical themes that really don't, unfortunately, get explored. Uh, this was supposed to be part of a trilogy. Unfortunately, even though this movie made its money back and made pretty good money, it didn't make the box office crazy money that they were probably hoping. So they never moved forward, but I'm glad we got this one at least. This movie, actually, funnily enough, to bring up Star Wars again, this movie is a better version of The Last Jedi than The Last Jedi is. And if you watch The Last Jedi and then you watch this, you're, you're going to see what I mean. Very similar characters, very similar story. But I, I love Tron. These movies were way ahead of their time. And even when this movie came out, 2011, I believe. I don't remember. It might have been 2011. It might have been a little bit after that. But this movie was still ahead of its time. <clears throat> Especially with VR and everything it is today. Shame we never got the next two movies in the series, but, you know, it is what it is. Really good 3D movie. Highly recommend. This next one is a documentary that was like 8 bucks. That's why I picked it up. Uh, 3D is off and on in this movie. Sometimes it looks really good. Sometimes it's really bad post-conversion. Uh, not much to say. It's a documentary, and it's okay. It's alright. It's whatever. Not really... Uh, anything to put in the history books. This next movie is not a 3D movie, but I do eventually want to get it in 3D, and this was Pixar's first 3D film, and that is Up. Up was, I remember watching the, listening to the audio commentary for this, and once again, the, uh, the case is escaping, or the art on the case is escaping, but I remember the, the shot with months, or somebody was falling or a window opened up and they were like big 3d money shot and i'm like oh man i want to see it in 3d i bet this is a fantastic movie in 3d the location and what it's about really lends itself well to that i really want to get into 3d someday but the movie itself is really great i haven't watched this movie in such a long time this is actually one that i bought myself and it's just really nice it's really good really good movie and pixar's first 3d movie don't know how it looks in 3D, but hopefully one day I will get that. And we're coming very close to the end of this list. And that's good because the camera's battery is dying again. Uh, this is another video game movie adaptation of a game series that I'm very fond of. And that is Warcraft. Uh, there was a lot of mixed opinions on this movie when it came out. Uh, it's pretty sad that they had to get the uh, review quote from Machinima, which no longer even exists anymore. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, you know that. But I saw this in IMAX 3D. Really fun 3D movie. That this movie visually is beautiful. That's almost worth watching it alone. Like the spells and the magic and the locations and the, the it's so visually accurate to the games. But the issue is that it is so trying to be so close to the games and trying to add in all that lore that it doesn't really end up working. I think this movie would have been a lot better if they had just ignored all the lore that got added later on in the series and just focused on that initial conflict between the uh, the orcs and the humans from the first game. Like, just ignore the rest of the games exist and just focus on that one thing. And they probably would have come out a lot better. Obviously, the war between the humans and the orcs was a lot, especially in that first game, was a lot more than just a few conflicts. It was an ongoing thing, which eventually the humans lost. 
but this is okay. I mean, they did the best they could with all the material that they had to put into this movie. I don't hate it as much as other people do, but I understand why people dislike this and had problems with it. This movie is missing a lot of stuff. I feel like a whole bunch of this movie got cut out just so they could have more showing at the, showings at the theater. But if there is an extended version of this movie, then I would like to see it. Uh, there's a lot of like, establishing shots that are cut out of this, too. This next movie I picked up, and I was really excited, too. I hadn't seen it. I mean, I'd seen clips of it. I've seen parts of it. And I, I recognize that it is a very, very sacred piece of uh, the history of filmmaking. But we are looking at The Wizard of Oz. Now, this actually got an IMAX 3D re-release. Uh, they upscaled it and everything. And didn't see it in IMAX 3D. Don't really know if it was necessary to see it in IMAX 3D. But the 3D in this movie does actually help it along right nicely. This movie, in it, just without the 3D, is phenomenal. This It's very easy to see why this is a classic. And it has stood the test of time. It is still wonderful to this day. I love watching this movie. But the 3D really helps out by... Uh, it, so obviously, they, they a lot of this stuff was just done on a set. But the 3D pushes like the uh, the paintings on the walls and like everything like the end of the set further, and that helps add to the illusion that it is a much larger world. Uh, the shots in the Emerald Hallway in the Emerald City before they go see the the wizard are really 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 deep. They really pushed it out there. Uh, this is a good 3D movie. You, you, I mean, you know, it's not like gotta run out right immediately to see it in 3D. But if you don't have the movie. Hey, you might as well check it out in 3D because it, it looks really cool. And mind you, all these movies come with the 2D version, so you don't have to worry about, you know, that. This is one of the earlier 3D Blu-rays I picked up. Wreck-It Ralph. A uh, video game movie, kind of. Um, well, obviously it is. Uh, really cool 3D. Uh, not too much to talk about here with the 3D. The movie itself is really fantastic. I'm glad I do have it in 3D. Uh, it might just be a weird placebo effect, but I kind of feel like the audio syncing, audio starts desyncing around halfway through the movie. It's not like, I don't know, I could just be crazy, but I feel like the audio desyncs. And I, I'm not sure if it's just my disc or what, I haven't been able to find anyone else with that issue. But I mean, Wreck-It Ralph is a good movie, I like it. It's a, it's like a, almost like a, a superhero genre kind of thing, I don't know. This is one I don't really remember much about, but the X-Men Days of Future Past, I believe this was the one that kicked off the, the soft reboot for the to have the younger X-Men in like the 80s and the 90s. Uh, it's okay, 3D was okay. Don't remember being super impressed by it, but I mean, it is what it is. It, it's one of those movies that they released in 3D almost as like an obligation. Um, it's okay, I mean, if you're an X-Men, Whatever. It, it is what it is. I picked it up probably because it was really, really cheap. Ah. We're, we're, we're going to look at another top five. Top five. Uh, definitely top ten. It's a hard top ten, but top soft top five. I don't know. I have to sit down and figure it all out. It's really hard. The 3D movies are good for different... Different 3D movies are good for different reasons. So it's kind of hard to say, like, this is the definitive. It's really what you're looking for. But this movie, The Walk, this movie came out the night I started working at the theater. This is the first movie I saw when I started working there. And I remember seeing trailers for this movie in 3D, IMAX 3D, and they were really pushing that, and the 3D was so good. I saw this in the theater opening night, and I do not regret watching it ever since. This movie will blow your freaking mind. This the, the best way to experience this obviously was an IMAX, but the 3D is so deep. This is a post-conversion, but it's really well done. The 3D is so deep, you really do feel like you're up there on the towers. You get a huge, uh, it, it really pushes the sense of deep and how high up he is. You really feel how high up he is. And I remember seeing the uh, first uh, time they really showed off how deep it was when he was just on like a little high wire in a circus tent. And it, it just, even on the TV that I have, still looks freaking crazy. This, you absolutely got to get this in 3D. This is a must-have top five. It's also a fantastic movie to boot. And 
it just it's great and it has some pop out moments too but this is another movie that really uses 3D to help tell its story this is one that you if someone comes over man I fucking 3D some bull bullshit this is the one you put in you skip to the end and you're like hey check this out look how look at that so good so so good uh, alright we're about to run out of time last movie we have four minutes left um, Zootopia good one of the Movies I picked up originally, good 3D, pretty okay. Lots of fun with the fauna and the animals and everything. Uh, it's not one I'd super run out and immediately say pick up, but you know what? The world lends itself nice to the 3D format. And that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I know, I'm, I'm speeding through. But anyway, that was the last movie, obviously, Z. And that was all my 3D Blu-rays. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to stop these cameras before they stop themselves. Have a good night or morning or whatever time of day it is.